so this one we go from we, we, we started with 1230 we ended up with 1164 so that's a decrease isn't it so 1164 minus the old enrollment of 1230 th in how many years 2010 2013 in three years that should give a negative number right so 1164 minus 1230 is that and then divide that by 3 so we get negative 66 divide that by 3 that's negative 22 a, a, a growth of negative 20 students per year or basically a drop in enrollment of 22 students per year okay we're going to estimate enrollment in 2014 so the first thing to figure out is what time period are you going to use for that are you going to go all the way back to for example 2002 to 2005 when it increased by 30 students per year would that be a smart thing to do well probably not I mean if you're asking about 2014 the first place you want to look is you know what's been happening recently recently enrollment has been decreasing right so it's to make a quick guess if everything stays the same it's probably going to decrease again in the next year does that make sense so extrapolation means using the most recent data so ignoring everything here ignore all of that just use the most recent data and make a quick guess to say well okay college president says right enrollment is decreasing if everything stays the same, if we don't change anything, it's probably going to decrease by about the same amount next year. Okay, so we have um, decreasing by about 22 per year, right? Now in uh, 2013, we have 1,164 students. That's 2013, and we're decreasing by 22 per year. 2014 is one year after 2013 isn't it so we just subtract 22 and we get 1 1 uh, 4 2 right an estimate for 2014 what about 2018 use extrapolation to estimate enrollment in 2018 press pause and do that Did you try it? I hope you pressed pause and tried it at least. So extrapolation means give it just a basic estimate and just use the most recent data. Ignore the fact that, you know, enrollments being what went down here, went up here, stayed the same, went up, went up, went down. Ignore all of the past, just use the most recent data, which is the fact that in the last three years it's been decreasing by twenty two per year. Right? Twenty two students per year. So we're just going to use that and we're going to say okay 2013 we've got 1164 students enrollment is decreasing how many years after 2013 is 2018 five years isn't it and it's decreasing by 22 students per year right so that gives us 1162 minus five times that is 110 which gives us one zero five two right so that's an estimate college president says okay if we keep going at this rate by 2018 our enrollment will be a thousand and fifty two students 